Okay, so I'm going to make another get care sheet tarantula video. So I'm going to choose one of my bigger guys. I'm probably going to choose my largest one. So Theraphosa blondi, the Goliath bird eater. Sweet. Okay, so here's big old Gretel, my 10 inch female. And she's pretty sweet. So here she is. So, okay, so Theraphosa blondies. Um, also the similar Theraphosa apophysis, which is the um, Goliath pink toe, pink foot bird, bird eater. And Goliath pink toe is the Declare Bronchocene. So these guys are possibly the largest tarantulas in the world. Um, they attain a maximum between 11 to 12 inch leg spans, which we're looking at is a um, 10 inch female. So this is her setup, uh, 10 gallon tank with a huge water dish and a cave so she can hide under. So these tarantulas are kind of hard to take care of. They require a lot of heat uh, between 80 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, humidity they require at least 80 to 85. So they're kind of like it more hot and more humid in the tank. That's why when I miss the cage I have a little towel over it so it keeps the humidity in. So that's why uh, I have some sphagnum moss on the side. Yeah, so because these are the largest tarantulas, these are also one of the heaviest ones. Uh, so the maximum weight they can attain is probably a quarter of a pound. So what you can actually feed uh, big critters like this, you can feed them um, large crickets, large grass uh, locusts. Um, you can feed them grasshoppers. Um, generally not re recommended if you get them outside because, um, as I said, they can carry pesticides and they can kill the tarantula. Um, you can feed them... Bidubia roaches, they love those. Um, then the occasional pinky mice. Pinky mouse, or you can feed them small mice, but I wouldn't suggest it because it can be dangerous to a tarantula, especially for T. blondies, because a lot of uh, Theraphosa blondies have um, molting problems and um, they can die from it. So this is why uh, this tarantula uh, should be suitable for the expert keepers. So their temperament... Um, fast, nervous, and can show quite aggression. Uh, they can hiss, uh, can stridulate, so I can probably demonstrate that. Um, if I find my... Okay, so I have my paintbrush, and I can show you a little what they can do when you prod the abdomen. You can actually hear some hissing. Yeah, I'm, sh I'm starting to shake a bit. And they can be pretty fast, okay. So that's that's pretty... That's enough for her. So they can actually show the best for our postures. Um, Handling-wise, I would not suggest you handling it because it's a really huge spider. And if you saw Rob C's Zilla, it's actually bigger in his hand and he had quite a bit of trouble handling it. They can be fast despite being how large it is, and um, their hairs are probably one of the worst urticating hairs you can actually have. So this reason f you should be wearing uh, some eye protection and uh, some gloves when you're dealing with the species, because if you get hairs in, in your eye, it can actually temporarily blind you, so that's not really uh, a pretty sight. But if you saw that, if you heard the hissing, that's what it can do, and because they have at least uh, an inch long fangs, um, it can do some serious mechanical damage despite having um, so so venom. So, um, that's pretty much it for the Therapose Blondie care sheet video. And there we go, here's Gretel, my 10 inch female. She's a bit angry with me, <laughs> no surprise. And she has a small butt, she's due for feeding. I have to feed them this week. So I'm going to make a feeding video of her, def most definitely, so you can see how actually quickly she grabs the crickets. So, see you guys later.